Alright, so when making 3D scenes in DaVinci Resolve, it can get kind of laggy when using a lot of particles, and I just wanted to offer some solutions. So, basically, I think all of us know here that like, Fusion is optimized for compositing and other shit, which means sometimes the default settings can be really weird. I don't know. Specifically for 3D and the render a 3D node. So, um, use OpenGL. It's better. Um, I don't care. You already know why. Uh, GPU stuff. But the settings we want to talk about are an anti-aliasing. That's really all we're going to talk about today. So... The one thing that's really never mentioned or talked about is the high Q rate because I don't know. It's just like the way that Fusion, the, th the render 3D node does um, anti-aliasing is super shit. Like it's not shit. It's good, but it's just unnecessarily laggy when you're doing simple shapes and stuff like that um, because it does super sampling. And, you know, you don't really need super sampling with already eight, you know, shit anti-aliasing samples or whatever so let's say that our target resolution is 1920 by 1080 but we don't have an option at any alias okay and let's say our target resolution is 1920 by 1080 okay but we can't anti-alias the thing so how are we going to get like those blurred edges and shit what you do is you render at a high resolution and then you downscale it so high resolution uh 3840 by 2160 and then you downscale it to 1920 by 1080 and then you get the blurred edges that's basically what davinci resolve 3d does like the render 3d workspace and thing <laughs> so basically when you have this high q rate at three you're rendering at three times the resolution so instead of 1920 i'm just gonna like show like times three you're rendering at this much by oh my god bro come on by that much and then you're downscaling it down to 1920 by 1080 to get the anti-aliasing but like who does that for mo for like motion graphics and shit like that you know so just don't do that <laughs> um basically what i would do which i feel like is the best way is i don't know what low q does low q's garbo i don't know it doesn't do anything but high q um turn that to one so you just don't do any um super sampling just don't do it i mean i know you're gonna like you know it's, it's higher quality when you do this but like who's gonna notice who's zooming in on your video you know you're posting this shit on instagram it gets compressed anyways um just do that just do that i mean i guess you can like keep the sample count at eight that's really all you have to do because if you keep high q rate at one then you're only doing super you're only doing anti aliasing through the regular shit so i mean a clear example is let's go to three and let's just play it and it's kind of like it, it's doing the thing you know it's doing the the thing um <laughs> i just fucking burped excuse me uh, you know, uh, but if you make it 16, you're rendering at 16 times resolution and then downscaling it down to 1920 by 1080. And like now, it's just like, you know, my GTX 1080 is just like choking. And then you make it one, and then it's like this. And then back to three, and then back to one, and then back to three. You know, basically just use one. Like, go into anti aliasing. Fuck! Yeah, I'm not, I'm gonna keep on recording anyways, I don't care. Go to anti aliasing. Um,. Go to high key rate, make it one, and that's it. That's all you have to do. Um, and then you just get, in general, better performance. I mean, this is an exaggerated case anyways, but uh, yeah, the more you know.